Hello everybody, SuperMe84 here, and welcome back to Sonic Riders on the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we finished up the hero story and sand ruins in Babylon Garden with Sonic. Now in this episode, we begin the Babylon story, where we play as the Babylon Rogues, Jet the Hawk, Wade the Swallow, and Storm the Albatross. So let's go. Hey, boss! Uh, uh, We've got some major trouble! Storm, at least learn to knock before entering a room. What's this? Oh, is this? Yeah, that's when I took over things for my father. So is this the key to the fabled Babylon Garden? I wonder, could it be true? Could our ancestors have left behind hidden treasures that's just waiting to be discovered? Hmm... Uh-uh! If you get your greasy little hands on this, you'll probably use it in some crazy experiment of yours! Oh, come on! I only want to look at it! You always say you only want this or that! Remember the teachings of our ancestors! Be careful what you ask for! Ultimately, you'll only get... Three true wishes. Oh, be quiet. Why'd you burst in here anyway? Well, an egghead, egg salad, no. Someone called Eggman wants to speak to you. He told me that he had- My hands are bigger than her face. For you. Stop interrupting. Knock it off. Hmm. <sighs> Am I interrupting anything? So then. How the heck could you get up here? We're like 800 feet off the ground. You Jet, the legendary rogue, your reputation precedes you. I've heard so much about your infamous group. Enough! What do you want? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor that you have the key to Babylon Garden. Now, could this be true? Huh? What's this key? <laughs> really now? You don't have to be so distrusting. Are you aware of this? I imagine not. The key to Babylon Garden is... Huh. So let me get this straight. We just need to collect all these Chaos Emeralds, right? Sounds easy. You really think so, eh? What do you mean? Are you saying the Babylon Rogues aren't capable of stealing some puny Emeralds? No, of course not. But have you seen this character before? He's called Sonic and said to be the fastest creature on Earth. I've had many, many dreadful encounters with this pest. Hmm. He may be the fastest creature on the ground, but in the air, with me and my extreme gear, he's just a joke. <laughs> I'm laughing because I had too much cereal this morning. I was cooking for Cocoa Puffs. All right, show Sonic what you're made of and finish in first place. So here's our seventh stage, Night Chase. So basically, Night Chase is Metal City, but you're racing at night and going through different obstacles on the track. So we're playing as Jet the Hawk. Now Jet is a speed type character. Like Sonic, he can also grind on rails. In this game, every speed character has the same stats when it comes to dash, limit, power, and cornering when you're using their own hoverboards. There are different hoverboards that you can buy at the shop and use it when you're doing free race or time attack that give characters different stats, whether it's speed, fly, or power. Yeah, and here's another thing. They move the grind rail into the shortcut where the power type characters can go through instead of placing it next to a ramp where it is in Metal City. Okay, lap 2, 4880. I love it when Jet uses his sneeze attack. It's funny, especially when he attacks his teammates with it, which you can do by the way. So basically, this stage is the first cutscene of the hero story where Sonic chases the Babylon Rogues for the Emerald, but fails letting the Babylon Rogues escape with the Emerald. The stage is kind of difficult, mainly because you want to avoid traffic from the cops. Because if you're using a speed or fly type character in this stage, and if you ran into them, they slow your momentum down. And it can be really annoying. I hate the cops. I hate all cops. 
I hate cops. But they'll never catch me because I'm too fast. Yeah, eat this, Sonic. All right, final lap. You know, they should have put Storm in this stage first instead of Jet because I think it would have been less painful for the player so that they can bash the cops that get in their way and don't have to worry about avoiding traffic. I mean, like I said, Nightshade is kind of difficult of the middle city, not because of the traffic or the obstacles. It's also because the AI feels like they're on handicap because of how fast they're going. I mean, you see Sonic, like, he overtake me twice. And we're done. Finished in 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Fastest lap, 4375. All right, on to the next one. Yeah, we also unlock Waves Mission, and we're also gonna unlock all of the tracks that are in the Babylon story. I get it, okay? It just floats, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> huh? Sorry, but it's just too funny. Let me see. Huh? That gear's unusual. Customized it myself. Hmm. This, this isn't is half, half bad, bad for an amateur. amateur. Still, Still, you can, can never, never be, be too, too careful. careful. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh. It's it's just my thing. Don't don't worry about it. Sorry, I remember the joke. <laughs> See ya, shorty. Oh, that girl, who does she think she is? I'll show you who I am. Alright, defeat Amy and finish in first place. You know I don't understand? How come they didn't notice that bomb Wave put on Sonic's hoverboard? I mean, they should have known that it was something suspicious. Anyway, here's our 8th stage, Red Canyon. I hate it when she says that. It sounds so cringy. I mean, no offense, uh, Erica Schroeder, the voice of Wait the Swallow, or some people call her Bella Hudson. I don't know why. So, we're playing as Wave the Swallow. Now, Wave is a fly character like Tails, but her stats are a little better. Now, Red Canyon is Splash Canyon, but you're racing during sunset. Now, I personally am not a fan of stages that have a sunset environment. I mean, they can be pretty and they can be dull, but it can sometimes give me headaches and it can make me fall asleep. Yeah, that ramp can be kind of tricky to pull off if you want to take the upper part of the track where you can get air fuel container for your hoverboard. You know, I think this is the easiest track to get 100 rings because the 100 ring container is right at the finish line. All right, lap two, 51.45. So we're playing as Wave. Now Wave is kind of my least favorite character in the Sonic Riders series, mainly her personality. Like I'm not a fan of a character who's gonna pick on a kid just because he or she probably have better skills than mine or sabotage other people's races. And I honestly don't find her cute. I mean, if you look at her, she looks like a hippie bird that's coming straight out of the 70s. I mean, if she would be any more hippie, she probably would be wearing a peace symbol medallion necklace or fur that looks like a peace symbol on her back or on her arm. Even when she's wearing her glasses, it makes her look even more hippie. Alright, final lap, 4901. I kind of feel like she's the only character that they took a little seriously and the others not so seriously. I mean, I would have liked her if she was funny without trying to get like you know the player or the audiences to laugh instead of being some kind of a you know a jerk but you know if you're making a game with the story in it of course you're gonna have an, an antagonist character that's gonna bully the main protagonist which actually the Babylon rogues are the main antagonist in this game Uh, 
All right, almost there. Yep. Yes, it is, Wave. Finished in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Fastest lap, 49.01. And Amy finished in 6th. Wow. Alright, that's a wrap for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.